Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ricky Kano. Um, just stopping by, and uh, I want to just I want to take this time to actually just uh, just let you guys know what's been going on. I know that a lot of people and YouTube family have been asking, you know, when are you gonna do another video? You haven't posted any other videos. What's going on? And you know, I'll tell you a lot of things that have been going on, uh, both good and bad. Uh, but I count it all joy. Um, as far as me making more, uh, as far as music videos or uh, singing videos on YouTube, I don't know when that will be. Um, what is it? Lately, I just wanted to kind of share with you guys what's been, you know, going on. Still here, residing in Houston, Texas, my hometown. Um, I mean, as far as me actually leaving and going back to California or going back and, um, you know, making my presence known in the East Coast, as a lot of people have been. Uh, expecting me to come, um, those things are still in the mix, it's still in progress and it's something that I still plan on doing, but right now I've been hit with a lot of you know personal matters that I feel that need to be taken care of first uh, before I take any other steps. So right now I cannot say my stay here in Houston is indefinite, I do not know when I'll be leaving again, um, but I do know that uh, I miss California greatly. And I still have great expectations for me arriving in, in New York, um, whether that will be in the new year or not. Um, but uh, as far as, as me being uh, um, faithful here, also, like, I want to give a shout out to my Vigil Arch family. I'm still here, um, committed to the Vigil Arch here in Houston, Texas, with Pastor Ernie and Sister Irma Lopez, still involved with worship. Um, uh, it's funny that I mentioned that because uh, we recently had. The World Conference in the summer, you know, a lot of people are like, you know, why aren't you involved in international worship, you know, or, or you should be involved in international worship, and it's not that I don't want to, and it's not that I wouldn't love to, I think that that would be an awesome opportunity, and, and even my leadership, you know, um, where they were encouraging us, as the worship team here, to, to strive to be on that level, um, but I was uh, talking over, talking this, this situation over with my leadership, and, and, and I shared with them that I honestly, at this point in my life, I do not look at myself as, as being on the international level. I feel that, you know, that yes, anyone in that position, our, our title should never take it lightly and should never ever, you know, let it go to their head. They should always remain, you know, humble with me, you know, being involved in worship since I was a young adolescent, you know, I've been exposed to it all, you know, both, you know, very successful uh, worship ministries to, you know, low on the ground, just barely starting up, you know, and it's like, to me, I count it a privilege in, in, in either situation, but I feel that first, I have to be effective locally before I can be effective internationally, you understand what I'm saying? So it's like with me being a full-time college student and me also working part-time and still, you know, fitting time in there for me to actually be, you know, involved with worship, that's a lot, you know, And but I haven't been able to give 110% the way I should, you know, and I'm just being honest and being realistic. So I don't really expect to be used on, on that particular level. Um, also, on the, on, on the flip side of that, you know, is uh, the fact that me, I love to worship God, but also, like, I know that God's given me and everyone an ability, whether it be to sing or play, you know, He's given us that for a reason, not just to let it go to waste. And to me, like, I strive in everything that I do to to go down that path that I'll be able to do what I love doing, you know, that I'm happy doing what I'm not just working in a nine to five or whatever, but doing music, doing sing, doing something that I actually enjoy. You know, so I have to, you know, pave the way and make sure that I'm doing everything that I need to and Truthfully, when I came, I wasn't expecting to be, you know, getting involved in any sort of music scene here in Houston and whatnot, um, because I was just bitter about it. I just didn't think that, you know, Houston, that's more of a, you know, business, industrial kind of uh, uh, culture. I mean, there's no kind of music scene whatsoever. I mean, but everywhere you go, there's always going to be a music scene, whether it's big or small, um, if it's famous or if it's not well known at all, you know. And with me, it's like I was sharing, you know, with my leadership and also with my family about it. It's like, you know, with me being here, I like, already two years here in Texas, you know, um, I haven't really been doing much with my music, and it's like solely for that reason, you know. And it's like I think it's time with me not knowing when I'm gonna leave. I think that I need to get, you know, I need to get my hands dirty, you know. I need to get in there and, you know, and do what I can and know that I'm being effective and it's like I look at at performing I look at doing any sort of shows uh, entertaining whether you know I mean I think anything involving church or anything related to church or for the people of God that's ministry and that's that should always be considered privilege you know and I would never ever 
put a price tag on that. But when it comes to actually doing shows and and and, and conducting yourself as a performance artist, that's your job and that's and that's your title. That's what you need to do to make a living. And that's business. That's strictly business. And and me, like I said, with me being, you know, exposed to ministry my whole life, I can you know, quickly distinguish the difference between the two. And I know that a lot of people try to mix business and ministry together and it just doesn't jive. You know, ministry is ministry, business is business. And I think that's just the way it should be. Um, because, you know, Jesus came, you know, into this world and he, you know, hung around and influenced those who were um, business people, you know, and, and was able to change them and, and transform them. So it would kind of be contradicting us as believers for us to try to follow in that direction and try to bring that into Christianity. Um, see what I'm saying? So I think that, oh, so I'll share with a lot of people is that, you know, if that were the, the case, because a lot of people are not necessarily crazy, uh, necessarily crazy about me when I talk about, you know, doing crossover music or doing music that may not necessarily be you know, having any lyrics, including God or Jesus or whatnot. Um, but it's like, really, you know, when you, when you go and you work a job, you know, and you have a successful job, you know, um, you, you're not going to quit it or leave it just because it's not Christian based or because it's not, it isn't, it's not based on godly principles. I mean, if that were the case, I tell people all the time, there'd be a lot of jobless Christians in this. And I think that a lot of people, they uh, underestimate, um, the, the music ability and the talents of people in church and they feel that okay well that should just be strictly ministry and that's it and I, not that I, I don't agree with that I mean I agree that if you have an ability you should use that in the church and and don't expect to get paid for it ever I mean me when I do stuff I do it out of the, out of my heart you know out of to me it's a privilege and, a, and an awesome opportunity to be able to do these things for the people of God and a lot of times it happens you know they'll give me a love offering but I don't ask for it you know Whereas anything else outside of church, I will. And I think me, I'm real excited in the new year, what's going to be taking place. Um, you know, a, a lot of um, well-known, um, established producers here that I've been in communication with, as well as people who are, who are out, of style, out of state and a lot of people who have moved. Um, actually, one of the producers that I met, he's from New York, who actually moved over here to Texas. So I plan to be doing a lot of work with him and, and just creating something different, something new. Um, and I hope you guys um, are patient enough, you know, hopefully I'll be able to post some stuff up in the near future of what I've been working on. Um, just keep in your prayers. Um, this upcoming year I'll be finishing my degree and then I'll be able to focus more on um, being effective, not only, you know, in the body of Christ and ministry, but also um, with the ability that God's given me. And, you know, and, and, and to me, I think that I should take this ability that he's given me and not only you know, I want to keep it for the people of God, but also want to go out and spread it to people who are lost. And a lot of people, they're leery about the whole idea of, okay, well, you know, you're Christian and you're out there, you know, singing for people in the world. And it's like, to me, the message that I bring will be all based on love, you know, and God is love. Um, I think it'd be a different story if I was out there, you know, uh, portraying myself and, 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 and producing and performing satanic music or using lyrics that are very with such vulgarity and whatnot, but I don't compose music like that, thank God. Um, but the, all the, the message that I'll bring is about love and it's inspired by Christ all the time, 110%. And I think it, it will be an awesome opportunity for me because I know that I will meet a lot of people out there who are just um, struggling, those people who are hurting and out there, you know, they may be on a substance, they may be on some sort of pharmaceuticals or whatnot. But to me, I believe that God will use me uh, like the word says that you know we are the light in the darkness and, and I don't want to keep that light only for myself and for the people who have light and just to see okay well well, well my light shines brighter than yours you know I'm not I'm not in there to see you know who's better than who and, and I think that, that that's another factor that that I've been exposed to a lot in ministry is that a lot of times when you experience someone and or you hear of someone um, and, and you're already in, in, in a position of authority, a lot of times they feel threatened because they feel this new person is coming um, with better ability, uh, with better talents, and, 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 and there, it all becomes a political game, and, and I'm not in it for that, and I think that, you know, God's going to do what He wants to do. I'm excited about, uh, you know, really getting my hands involved in, in doing stuff, not only with my own music stuff, but also locally, you know, in, in my church and being effective. And God, God will smile on, on His works, you know. And and um, the more that I see myself that I'm able to be effective, I know that God will open up doors for me um, to be used in, in, in other areas. Um, I'll still be around, 
So you guys, uh, like I said, just continue to keep me lifted up and um, comment, subscribe, let everyone know, um, you know that I'm still around and that um, I haven't, you know, disappeared off the face of this planet. I love you guys. You guys be blessed. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. All right, God bless.